So you've seen this sort of thing with arithmetic sequences, geometric sequences, and simultaneous equations. So for instance, if we knew that term 3 was equal to 10, and we knew that term 6 was equal to 80, uh, we can find the tenth term. Now, in order to find the tenth term, we really need to be able to define the, the sequence. And the way to define the sequence is to find out what A is equal to, and to find out what R is equal to. Uh, so we've got two variables that we want to know. We've got two relationships that we know. So we should be able to solve it using simultaneous equations. So um, we know that term n equals a times r to the n minus 1. And we have uh, term 3 is equal to 10. So we know that term 3 is 10. But we don't know what a is. We don't know what r is. But we know that uh, if it's term 3, then it's going to be n minus 1, uh, 2. So 10 equals a r squared. And the, that's equation 1. And equation 2 is term 6 is 80, and that's going to be a uh, r to the power of, um, if it's term 6, then it's got to be to the power of 5. Now all we need to do is be able to solve these simultaneously. Now there is a special way to do this that you've never seen before. Uh, you might remember doing elimination, uh, simultaneous equations using elimination. The way that it works is you take an equation and you subtract one equation from the other equation. Now, if you subtract one equation from the other, nothing's going to happen here, so that's not useful. Uh, you can also add them. If you add them, also nothing's going to happen here, so that's not useful. But you can also multiply and divide them, which we've never done before, but you can do it. So if I write uh, divide equation 2 by equation 1, what that ends up looking like is equation 2, 80 equals AR5, divided by equation 1, uh, AR2. Now you need to be really careful with this. It only really works with this kind of, you know, kind of format. And you'll see what happens. 80 divided by 10 is just plain old 8. A divided by A, the A's will cancel each other out. R5 divided by R2 will be R3. And then uh, we end up with a cube root 8. So R is equal to 2. Okay, um, that's a way to do it. Uh, you've, you've never seen anything like that before. Just to show you there is a way to do it that you do know of, that you have done in the past, uh, I can say that uh, 10 equals AR squared. That's equation 1. And I could rearrange equation 2 to make A the subject. So that means that equation 2 would be 80 divided by R to the 5 equals A. So now that I have that, I can use substitution. I can sub 2 into 1 for A. So uh, it's going to be Use a different color here so you can see what's happening. Try a different one. 10 equals um, substituting that in, we get 80 over r to the 5, and then multiplied by r squared. Okay, so that's going to give me uh, 10 equals 80 r3. I can move r3 to the top using uh, cross multiplication. We end up with 80 over 10. And you should see that r30 equals 80 over 10, r30, uh, r to the 3, sorry, equals 8, which means we're here, so r equals 2. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you do it, you can use that fancy dividing method, or you can use this method, which you have seen before, uh, but now we know that r equals 2. We need to know what a is now. I'm going to just get rid of some of this. So now that I know r equals 2, I can sub r equals 2 into equation 1. Uh, so 10 equals a uh, times 2 to the power of 2. So 10 equals a times 4, or 4a, which means that a equals uh, 10 on 4, uh, which is 5 on 2, or 2.5, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable dealing with. Okay, now finally, that's the hard bit. Now that we know that a equals 2, and we know that r equals 5 on 2, we can find the tenth term by saying term 10 
equals a 5 on 2 times uh, 2 to the power of 9. All right, and that gives us a 1280. All right, this bit's the, the, the really easy bit, obviously. The hard bit is using simultaneous equations to find the A value and the R value, um, and, then you, and then you can use them however you want to use them afterwards. All right, that's our simultaneous equations and the geometric sequence.